kind of organized today. We'll see how organized. Um, welcome in. Hopefully everybody had a good holiday weekend, long weekend. For those of you in the States, anyway. Um, today is a viewer redeem of the Diamond Dot. And I had it rolled up and put away, so now I need to kind of, you know, unroll it or, you know, make it not. And I didn't get a drink either. I am not with it today, apparently. Um, I think I need a vacation from my vacation, if that makes sense. Um, I attempted to add, like, the, the bitty thing to my... Um, uh, the bottom of my thing so you could see like what the bit redeems were and I did it and I thought I saved it and then when I clicked you know to do the thing it isn't there now so I'll have to try again another day my plan was to attempt to do some of that stuff this morning before I got on but sadly time was not on my side um, let me, I'll pull up Stream Raiders, because I need to place Tanks and Templars. Oh, we're probably going to have to do this one a couple times, because we're just starting, and it's the boss. Actually, I'm gonna do my necromancer because I don't think we're gonna do real well. Like, have a ton of people join the first battle, so hopefully that'll give us a little bit. But I'm going to do that while I quick go get a drink. I just grabbed a can of soda and a straw because I don't like to tip the can up to my mouth because I'm weird. But there we go. So we're about half, halfway-ish done with this. Yeah, close enough to halfway. Oof. Now, like I said, this one is technically two panels. Like, I bought one thing, but it came with two panels. But we shall see how far we get. Thank you, Spidey. Jumped right in. Like I said, I don't know how well we're going to do this time, but we will get there. Or we will. Jump a bunch out because it's just a couple that I missed. If I can manage to reach 
can grab just one or two. Turns out I wouldn't have had to really jump those out either. Those the points, but oh well. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fill this one up soon. It's actually not crazy hot right now, so I I opened a window to let some of the nice outside air in. But who knows how long before that turns into just ridiculously hot, and I'll have to close it. So Wild Squink in the chat. The bouncy pig. Okay, now that is even and ready to move it. Part of me wants to just start doing like all the number ones, and then the other part's like, no, that doesn't. Because then I peel up, stick down, peel up, stick down. And then I worry that this paper will eventually, like, not work the way it's supposed to be.
there's no like right or wrong way to do the diamond dots. I do mine in like rows of 10. Usually until I get like near the end and then I just start doing all of it. Or like if I have like a big one, I'll do like so many on this side and then across and up and over and then like, you know, round around until again, I get to kind of the center. And then I'm like, okay, I'll do all the ones that are this and all the ones that are that. Typically, um, diamond dot ones are a chiller, more relaxed kind of stream. No one caught the pokey. Today is what I consider the kids a first first day of summer. Like a summer break. We went camping because Friday was like the school's official last day. But they wouldn't have had school Monday anyway because it's a holiday. So it's like our first real day at home where it's kind of like you don't have to get up you don't have to do anything
guys a little bit of a better view. Hubby was called into work Sunday night because there was some bad weather in our area and that's kind of part of his job so he had to go into work but then on the positive side he gets off later in the week you know to make up that time so I think he's gonna have like a four day weekend this week I don't know. I call them beach, gems, whatever. The little dot. Yep. 
just I fully expect this first um stream readers to go horrible. But again, that's okay. Would just consider it like a first pancake. That worked out. The one I have left actually uh, went on an upper spot, so that worked out well. Welcome in, Crazy. I see your brick tags. Um, let me do this little couple dots I have here so that way I don't forget where I am. I know there'll be more dots on the other side, but that's okay. Just get these couple here. Okay, there we go. Welcome in Beer Bearer as well. Today is a uh, viewer redeem. Uh, in fact, Crazy was the one who redeemed this, so that's what we're working on today. Was your your long holiday weekend beer bear? Okay. So this was the last one we did. Now we're doing this one. that step. Oh, that's what Did you do the 37 miles like 
like all together in one ride or was it like broken up in a couple rides or one or two rides? It's good that I know you've been trying to get like longer rides in. In in prep for your like super long one. It was it was good that the weather was good. In where we were the weather wasn't bad, but in other parts of the state the weather was bad. Like the the part that uh, borders Missouri right at the top, I have like all kinds of tornadoes go right through it, and so they they got some nasty stuff. Yeah, we had a little bit of rain uh, up where we were camping. It wasn't like too terribly bad. And on Sunday, it looked like it was going to be like really bad, but then it just all of a sudden cleared up. It didn't actually rain. And then it rained a little bit overnight, but, but yeah, luckily we weren't in the areas that got crazy bad weather. And pop out the tray. So news about my parents is I'm not able to get the security fix. <laughs> because you looked all all mountain manny with your your bandana and being sweaty from camping. I don't think you were quite that bad. Nor did you look high. I imagine they'd still be high while floating. Like a hippie who had just left for good stuff. Welcome in, Carrot! Why is your video not making any sound? Oh, it did make sound. It was just really low. Yes, Diamond Dots. Uh, uh, Crazy redeemed it last week. But I had pushed it to this week so that I could finish that set. At 2 o'clock, I will have to take a quick couple minute break to help give the kitty her medicine. I know you peeled the paper off and said, now I have to finish it.
That dragon looked really nice. And now I kind of want to look for a Cheshire Cat one like you suggested with the, uh, the, the glow-in-the-dark dots. Yeah, she's been... She had her cone of shame off this morning for a bit. And she ate some more of her wet food and... And whatnot. And the, the vet called and asked how she was doing. Told them she acts like she didn't have a cast on her leg. She just does whatever. Okay, let me put this away and get the next color out before I go to Stream Raiders. That way I don't forget yeah. where I was. Kakibara, 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 kakibara. That looked like real tuna in there. I know it looked really good. Um, she like keeps going to it, eating a little bit, and then going away. And I imagine her like her eating habits are will be a little off while she's on all the meds because that affects. I mean, when we're on a lot of meds, it affects you know how hungry we are or how well we eat. So I imagine that will too. Fields. Let's just guess. I should have put it further out, thinking that people would go further, but I did put a necromancer out, so, you know, here's to hoping. You know, if nothing else, I can just wake up the dead and use them. Oh, well, I could until I die. That's all right. I'll do my bomber this time. Ooh, I guess I have my little bar. I still don't have <coughs> the thing where I can do, like, all I have is the verses and the campaign. Like, the duel and the clash. I don't have the dungeon right now, so we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that food definitely looked like real tuna. But she's been, like, going for it, and then going, laying other down, and then coming back for it, so. She's been more a lounge around today, but she hasn't seemed like she's been in pain, so maybe it's more like, oh, I'm back home, I can sleep now, who knows. More impressive is that she crawled, or climbed into the pack and play thing, and laid on the little bed in there. Usually she does everything but lay on that bed, so... And she had gone to the bathroom this morning, so that's good, too. Yeah, then we put the uh, 
cone of shame back on because she wouldn't leave the, the cast alone, but that's not a new deal. So, Carrot, how goes the unpacking? I know finding a place for everything when you move is always, to me, like the more challenging thing. Packing isn't that bad. The moving isn't that bad. It's the, like, unboxing of everything and then finding everything a new home. Because sometimes you have a plan in mind, but then things don't fit where they shorter, they don't look like you think they will. And then you have to find a different plan. So finding everything a new home in your new home is always the uh, least favorite thing. Pokemon's going to be on the loop soon. Um, a Delcati. Maybe. I don't know. For a second I was like, that, I don't think that's the right Pokemon in the image, but... I'm also not 100% sure it's not, so maybe I'm just remembering the wrong Pokemon. No one caught the Dell cat.
Um, there are new drops for Stream Raider. I think they started on Thursday, maybe? The weather has calmed down, the Sky Safari can continue. Hmm. I know there was a little, like... Exclamation point one whatever in my on like when you go to the Pokedex thing like in the middle and it said they had a new event or whatever. But I've never seen them like talk about the event while you've been doing it. Except for when you're like building the snowman at Christmas. I wonder if that means, like, the next time it comes up, there's going to be something special. Like, the next Pokemon that pops up. I imagine they are, because you didn't really get, like... You guys kind of got pulled in on the cuff, which I guess is, is normal for when it happens, but that doesn't mean you're not then tired because of it. Especially because if you work the overnight like you did on Sunday, then you can really only take like a nap and not even a long one yesterday because you gotta stay, you know, so that you'll sleep at night and can go to work today at normal time. So you're just like perpetually tired for a couple days. Well, good, she needs to sleep. Sleeping means healing. So Crazy sent me this video earlier of this uh, content guy we both like, and uh, it looked like he had giant dino nuggets. Uh, I knew after like a couple seconds of watching it that they were in fact not giant actual nuggies you could eat, but crocheted nuggies because I could see like the light reflecting a certain way off the thread, off the yarn anyway. And then <laughs> the guy who was doing the co uh, the video said he started calling like all different places trying to find these full size dino nuggies. He goes, and then I learned it was yarn. And I was like, thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. <laughs> and about that time, Crazy messaged me again. He's like, they're not real. They're crocheted. And I was like, yes, um, I knew that. He's like, I did not. I did not. <laughs> now I just want to crochet them. Right about the time he, he did like the first T-Rex one where it was kind of sitting up. I was like, those aren't real. Those are crochet. I 
I, sh I showed it to Fantasy. I was like, look at these. And she's like, they're crochet. <laughs> yeah, your dad didn't know that. At first, they really did look, I mean, they look, at least, like, the way the, the video, like, the lighting in the video probably helped to disguise the fact that they were not edible for her a little bit. Usually about the time I get bored with the particular design is when I start being like, okay, let's just do all the number ones and then all the number two. And I'm about at that with this. And it's not that I don't like the picture. It's like I feel like I've been working on it for like ever, but that's partly my fault because I haven't really been working on it as much as I normally would. So then my brain is like, must finish it. Because I've really only been working on it on like the random streams when it's redeemed. And so, but my brain is like, hmm. I've seen this picture one too many times, I'm finished. Thank you for the epic, uh, Beer Bear.
since it's like the official beginning of summer. Does anybody have anything that they're looking forward to doing this summer? Like an amusement park local to you that you go to a lot or just a trip or anything really. Or just even the nicer weather. Already. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Book balls are for at the end. Skarmory. It looks like a middle bird. I wonder if that's part of the safari thing they're doing. Oh, no one caught it. Rigged. didn't come with Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So 
sometimes while you're doing it, you're like, I don't see how that makes sense. Like, what is that splotch of color supposed to be? But then when you're done and you look at it, you know, from that immediately, just that little tiny section, you're like, oh, that makes complete sense now. That's how I feel about this blue, these random blue. I'm like, it's far too light, and the colors around it, like, don't really coincide. But, maybe, when it's done, and I look at it, it'll make sense. piece of a bead, not even like a whole bead. We were supposed to go see um, a friend of crazies get promoted go to like his promotion ceremony but now I don't know what we're gonna do because Kitty has to go back once a week and have like the bandage cast uh, replaced so he may just go by himself Because um, his gas or his truck takes way more gas than my car does. But I need my car for moving tiny people places. I say tiny people, they're like my size, but you know. When I'm done with this section, I'm gonna go through the bags that I have open here along the edge of my container and see if I can fill in any. I said if you go by yourself to that guy's uh, promotion ceremony, um, you'd take your truck, and it sucks because, like, going by yourself, you would take your truck, and that would suck because your truck takes more and uses more gas than my car does. So it will cost more for you to go.
Yeah, I thought about that this morning. I was like, I guess he could ride his bike the whole way. I mean, you just have to think about how much, how far you're going because it's not like it really has a gas. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Like, it's hard to figure out how far you go on a gas tank. Or a tank of gas. You know what I mean. One second, I only have a couple more dots of this color, so I could just get them all finished so we won't have to go back to it. Yep, that was it for that color. Um, streamer dots, streamer dots. Get the killing fields way out there this time. There are 18 of us and 29 of them. So more of us and less of them. That's good. And the killing field, I totally ignored. That's right. Your bear's gonna go beat the rock up. Release all the ants! Whoop whoop! We did it! Welcome in, Laura! Let's do Beer Bear and a May Spidey. Hopefully you get good stuff in your loyalty chest, too. And with another boss down. Okay, he wants. Let's go. Get the Templar. Oh, I knocked my footrest down. I don't think I did any. <laughs> yeah, just in time. I think I did, but I also could have been better. I don't think I have any waiting to, like, you know, save up enough money. Nope. So go to the store. Your foot rest. There we go. Yeah, we're not really like talking or doing anything. I feel bad about not talking sometimes, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to be talking. Right? Like, I'm just... Well, just listen to this relaxing... Uh, what do they call it? What's the title thing? I think it's like... Oh, they just have medieval Celtic music. Fantasy music, whatever. And then we're just chilling.
I was like, sometimes I think one where you're not, there's not necessarily a ton of talking or like things happening is good. Just a nice kind of mellow, relaxed. Oh well. It's not like they can't go eat immediately. I will need to attempt to decide what I'm going to work on on Thursday. Work from home is nice. Especially if you don't have to talk to people on the phone. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I hate talking on the phone. Yeah, there's there's almost always somebody well, now there is always at least one person at home, because uh, Boy Wonder does kind of like a public school at home thing. So it used to be I was uh, at home most of the day by myself, which wasn't I wasn't adverse to averse to whatever. Uh, but now there's always somebody home. Yeah, Zoom is still better than the phone. It's not that much different from this. It's just that the other person can talk back at you. Uh, that's how most of Boy Wonder's classes are. If he has a live class, that's kind of how it is, like a Zoom meeting. Um, they keep their mics off for the most part, unless... Like, they, they have this little thing at the bottom of the screen they can press to, like, raise their hand, essentially. And then when the teacher calls on them, then they can unmute their mic and talk. But for the most part, the teacher is the only person with their mic, like, always unmuted. And everybody else just watches. But yeah, that is the downside from working at home is, is like... If you're social, you're you're missing that social aspect. Yeah. I guess you get your social aspect to to some extent, or you could, 
to some extent through Twitch, you know, like watching people or and chatting if you have the time and you're able to. But it's not like if if you're somebody who likes like physically being in the same room with other people and talking to them, I know it's not exactly the same, but nobody uses Google Meet though. I have never used Google Meet either. Like, it's on my phone and everything. And, and, like, when you sign into your Google email, obviously it's there, like, that you could use it. But I have never tried using it. I assume it's very similar to, like, uh, to Zoom and, like, uh, what's the other one? And now my brain's gonna fart. Skype. There's the word. Yeah, use, like, the team thing. <laughs> yeah, I've never, like, tried to, to, like, call friends. I mean, I've done the, uh, what is it? I'm old, so I have the face, the book of face, not Instagram. Um, I've used, like, the chat on there, like, you can do, the, like, the messenger. You can do the, the call like that. But... That's about it. Okay, let's see what these numbers are on the side. Maybe I can fill up some. And get rid of the bad things out. Mm. No, not that. Maybe some. Get rid of the bed. After I make a slight mess of this. I won't get rid of the bag, but I'll get rid of some of the in the container. Ah, like I said, make a mess with it. I got a, I got carried away with my pour there. people do that like w like watch the a show or a movie together on discord i've also never taken part in that or tried to do it myself obviously but, um i have heard that some people do it that way too I did once uh, a while ago with some friends that I was in a book group with because um, you know you meet them and you're in a group like on Facebook or whatever and so like you're not necessarily living close to the person right, before I jump this in. Um, uh, we did the, the Netflix thing where you can watch together and that's about as close as to something like that as I've done like, where you can watch it together with them through Netflix or whatever, but...
Yeah, like we we all got it up and ready, and we're like, okay, press start on one, two, three, and then we're like, if anybody has like, let us know and we'll pause, you know. But that's about it. Not eight from this set, it's not. Yeah, maybe that was who I heard. Uh, I know somebody was watching the Lego Master show on Discord, but I didn't know like who set it up all, but I remember hearing about that. I watch. <laughs> I watch like a lot of like, I don't know. I watch like the same shows like over and like, over again, so I've seen like them four times. But I do watch a lot of new stuff too. I call it uh, my emotional support background noise. Uh, sometimes I'm not even watching it. Like right now, before bed, I'm watching Sex in the City on Netflix, but I'm not really watching it either. Like I'm getting ready bed and then I'm like reading a little bit but it's just on for noise so uh, yeah I call it my emotional support background noise yeah like it's on as like I'm relaxing and so I picked that because I'm not really like, like it's mildly interesting to me, but I'm not like so invested that I'm like, I won't fall asleep because I'm watching this show. I have made that mistake before where I picked a show. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And I was like, I'll be fine watching one episode and then going to sleep. And then I got, like, emotionally invested. And I'm like, no, can't watch that show before bed. Must only watch it during the day. I haven't watched any of the Lego Masters, like, uh, episodes or anything like that. I know there is a show, but I, I haven't watched any. I, I compare it or like think of it it is it probably is very comparable to like like chopped and top chef and top chef junior you know where like they're given a, a theme and then they go from there but I haven't watched it I don't watch a ton of reality TV and I know that's different from like the Kardashians or whatever, but it's all really reality TV. Just, you know, slightly different.
Yeah, that would be fun. <coughs> it, as long as you don't get like too invested in them, what you're doing, and then you're like, oh crap, the time I had to build this is now gone because I was watching that. But yeah, if you just kind of use it as like background noise and something you can look down and up from, that would work. Framorant? I don't know if I said that right. Is loose in chat. Camera and burn ads. My poor boss, he just heard the description of me looking like I was hanging out with Luke. <laughs> 
He's like, no, please, stop. I mean, you came basically straight from the campground. What did they expect? Finish this row here I'm on. down the, the oh and eat sugar and hydrate okay every well no i finished those last week that's a chunkier piece of candy it is peppermint bark So the walls, that was our brick cat, and then hydrate. Our cherry Dr. Pepper.
So does anybody else in chat kind of camp fairly often? Uh, Crazy's family, that's like what they do together during the summer. Is camp. <laughs> he beat you to the brick. It's only like 10 or 15 minutes for the brick town. Even more reason not to be on the road. I heard it. Um, Ooh, seventy five units this time. We got a bunch of people joined in this time. 75 of us and 24 of them. Well, that was over quick. Oop, it was tanks, not warriors. Oops. Too bad. Oh. A Renata is loose in chat.
I can go a little bit too far onto the mat. Okay, I think I have done all the number ones that are left on the The Radica escaped. I'm trying to grow like row by row in this section, but I know who come the end I'll still be like, oop, I missed one.
about five minutes, I will have to take a break to give Kitty her medicine. Um, I think today is her last day on this note. The other one she takes in the morning and at night. Not well understood. Thank you for the hydrate, Laura. Any more food in this? Excuse me. Nope, I don't see any more food in there. Sometimes there are only like a couple of, like, hardly any, like they'll make it a letter and a number or whatever on the side here, but then when you're doing it, you're like, well, there's hardly any of that in there. And that's the way it's looking at this. Boards are done already. Let's see if I can refill this.
as I make a mess. These are just extra, because if I've already done all the ones in the then I don't worry about it. I just fill up the little tic-tac container as much as I can and then throw the rest of these away. You know. It's full, so and the next time I get a project with it, I'll get more. So. I will put it on Streamators and mute my headphones and go find the kitty to give her her medicine. Okay, I'm back. She takes the pill pretty well. Plus, I think it's one of those that kind of starts to dissolve. Um, like, it starts to dissolve once you put it in her mouth. So if I hold her mouth closed for just a tiny bit, it starts to dissolve. And then, you know, she automatically swallows. I need to figure out who's in charge of alerts. Because... Because I'm not getting them when you go live anymore. That's weird. Do you think... Uh, like, Because I know you can choose to, like, not mute somebody, but you don't get their alerts. Do you think it could have been possible that somehow it got clicked off? That's the only thing I can think of. But I know it's weird. Sometimes the alerts are bad. I do... I remember to add myself to my alerts in my Discord of when people go live. I know for a while I didn't even have myself on them. And I was like, ooh, I have it, but I didn't include myself.
Yeah, it's weird. Twitch uh, does whatever it wants to. They've decided you don't need to know. Well, welcome in, Trell. Uh, Trell is also a streamer. Uh, I think he's been doing Fallout. I don't want to say 76 because I'm not positive, but he's been playing Fallout. I need to put you in my shout out. Oh, it is Fallout 76. At least that's what Frosty says. I knew he was playing some kind of Fallout, but I know there are several different Fallouts, so... two screens. You didn't miss much. Mostly me looking to see if there were any of a different color before I moved on to this one. I keep forgetting. I have to remember to do it when I finish stream. <laughs> so, anytime there's a holiday where there would be ham, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whatever, I buy an extra one and I put it in the deep freeze. And then, uh, you know, when we need it, I defrost it and that's what we have for lunch meat. I just buy the big, because they go on sale sometimes for like 99 cents a pound, which is way cheaper than like deli meat ham. And it's thicker. My kids like it better. And they used up the last of it right before we went camping. I need to remember to get the ham out so I can defrost and then I can cut it up. The best comparatively that we found, like price-wise and everything, is um at Sam's Club they have like the, the, these mini half hams. Um and they're not bad priced. But um I normally just try to buy 
like the big ham at a holiday, at holiday time, when they're cheap. Hmm. Didn't realize this would only have so little. I can do it without making a mess. <laughs> I think that it happens a lot because the one time it didn't tell, um, like when me and Steel did that co-stream, she came and visited for the eclipse and then we streamed together. Rabbit and a bunch of people were saying they didn't get the notification that, that I went live. So I don't know if it is just you. Or maybe stream just doesn't like me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it doesn't like me. But I don't know. I don't think it's just you. Because I have definitely heard other people say they've had issue with, like, not getting notified when people go live. And not, like, just me, either, like, like, not just my stream, other people's streams as well. How are you supposed to get all your drops and play your stream raiders when it doesn't tell you? The drops right now are uh, scrolls, different types of scrolls for different characters. There's not money in this round, but that is okay. Or at least I think it's okay. <laughs> right? Like, how are you supposed to get all the stuff if it doesn't tell you? So rude. So rude. It's like they want to make sure you don't get all the drops dropped. I heard it. I just want to put do this way. Back to Street Radio. Street Radio. There are 78 of us this time. And 59 of them. Look 
look at Spidey go. All the kills and the assists. I can only give you one gift, Spidey, but... Do you have a preference, Spidey, on which gift you prefer? Or if you're cool with whatever? Okay. We'll do... Do that, and then... See who else is in the in the thingy thing. That's you know here in chat too. There's Laura. Okay, so we'll do crazy and then Laura. There we go. Back to the mappy map. <laughs> I know he's always so good. I know I finished two quests. I hate sometimes when you're like trying to, to scroll up on the Street Raiders, like, you just keep, like, hovering. I go a little too far to the left. Okay, never mind. A little bit more to the other way. And it seems like it just keeps evading. Okay, let's see. I don't know if it's just me. I'm always just a little off and I'm like, dang it! And then finally I get it right. And I'm like, okay. Now I move two centimeters. I'm good. Been playing for over a year now. It took a long time to keep the units plus I'm playing more. Yeah. I, uh, like when I'm trying to get drops, I, uh, just watch kind of like random people. And I try to do, like, um, like, the raids or verses when I'm watching other people to help get, like, the bones or diamonds or whatever they're calling them at the moment to help buy the chests, and that helps. Because you get, uh, different, different, uh, like, the amount of scrolls you get is different, and sometimes you get a fair amount of money in them. I played on and off for a while. I don't know what Spidey is playing. <laughs> that is stressing me out. Yeah, I try to do different stuff. I don't think I've really been playing like too super long. Probably about as long as I've been streaming. Actually, a little less than what I, however long I've been streaming. I don't know, probably six months-ish? Month-ish? I can't talk today.
I kind of like to play it and then one or two other games while I work. That's about it. If I see you streaming, then I'll join instead of. Yeah. Um, Hubby, Crazy Manituga, he played it like in his stream. But when he was streaming I, before, I wasn't really watching him stream. That was kind of like his thing. So I didn't even really watch him do it. But um, when I started streaming and then he got back into it, I started playing it on his stream. And then Grand Admiral Quack plays it and Lazy Gamer plays it on theirs too. So then I was like, okay, now I'm obsessed. Now I must play it all the time. So like even, like if I'm watching somebody, uh, a streamer who doesn't play it, I'll usually still have it up and be playing like random. You know, not a, a specific person's in the background. Like I said, sometimes I try to play the other types to get stuff to, uh, to get the, uh, chests and things like that. Like the verses or the dungeons. Of course, as soon as you have to leave the house, that's when it's gonna rain and thunder and all that loveliness. Maybe it'll be a quick shower, and by the time you need to leave, it'll be done. We can hope, right? Outside working on something, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not. 
Let me go see what that noise is. And shut the door if you guys can hear. Yeah, my neighbor's having some work done. And I don't want it to bleed over to you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath either, but you know, you can finger, cross your fingers and hope. It's not like it's been crazy super hot today, so I had our like screen door, you know, the, the, the main door open. And then like the uh, window part on the, the screen door open to get a breeze, fresh air in the house. But it looks like the neighbor is having some work done. So I don't want it to bleed over into you guys. So I shut it. Now the cat's like, excuse me, I was looking out there. And that was weird. Stick back over so I'm not sticking my hand in it, ruin the glue. Welcome in, Steel. How are you doing today? How was your your long weekend, your holiday weekend? That's good to hear. <laughs> right, it's it's not really a stream unless Steel is here, right?
I have like fray check stuff or like fabric. I need to put it on the edge of this so I stop like slowly disintegrating the edge of this. Because it was two panels and I just cut it down the middle. Um, you know, on normal projects, I don't worry about it. It doesn't, they do an edging on it so that it's, it stays. But I just cut the panels in half because there were two projects in one, one kit. But I didn't think about it. And now that I've been kind of rotating it and working on the different sides, it's starting to fray. A quagsire is loose in chat. Hopefully, I pronounced that near correctly. It escaped. Yeti? Thank you, Yeti! <laughs> Welcome in, East Coast Cinnamon Toast! Welcome in, Tiresome Fox. How is everybody doing today? We've just been having a kind of mellow, chill diamond dot today. All red 58, welcome in. We also play Stream Raiders in here. Brick tacks. I see your brick tacks. I think I only have like four dots left on this color, so I'm going to quick do those. Yep. And then I can put this color away. Just trying to come off. I see we've reached that stage of the, the project where the paper just keeps coming off at you. Um, we did that one last time. So two half bricks and a green flower. There's a lighter green than that. If not, I will just go with that. Welcome in. Welcome back, Carrot. Welcome in, everybody. Um, if you are new here, my name is Book Love and Builder. There's our, our brick deck. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I think, I don't know what I am. 
Uh, I build Lego and do diamond dots. And thank you. It's a the kit came with two panels. So like and with little like lines here, like hey, cut you know all the way down the middle. They're <laughs> um, it's a uh, they're both kind of the same. They they go together. They're the uh, clownfish and kelp and coral and stuff, but they're two separate panels. So. It's already hot in my room. This this channel just took a weird turn. No, that's all right. Um, this channel's always in a weird place. <laughs> yeah, I get. So this is, a, you know, everything has a brand name and an off brand. I do both, but uh, I got nice RGB lights on my dead mother. <laughs> um. So this is the the brand name I think because it's it's diamond dots with a Z, um, but I buy them from Joann's and they're almost always on sale, like thirty percent off and stuff. And then um, you can use like your military discount on top of that at Joann's. So then it's like another ten percent off. So I usually buy mine from there, but I bought. Um, you know, ones off Amazon that I've done too. But this one is, is from Joann's or wherever you can get the diamond dot ones. Yes, girl, you go do whatever you need to do. Do your post stream stuff. If you have to go to the bathroom, eat, run an errand, go ahead. Do not worry about it. <laughs> I, I, I love Joann's too. Probably, like, I could not work at Joann's because they would just get my paycheck. Like, don't bother. Just give me a gift card. You're going to get it all back anyway. It's why I cannot work at Joann's. Stream Raiders on this left. I suppose it should handle a little more gracefully. Really bad issues. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. I, I feel ya. My, uh... My laptop is a. Uh, how do you know he really loves you? <laughs> I love Joann's. And they, you know, now that Steel has got me crocheting, they will get even more of my money. But, uh, but the way Windows does things is a little bit better in some ways. I mean, even if it's not a ton more, and I always feel like any little bit more. Right, like, they wouldn't even need to pay me a paycheck. They could just put it on a gift card, and then I could turn around and spend it. Because that's where all my money would go anyway. But yeah, it's why I could never work at Joann's. I would fare slightly better at Hobby Lobby, but I also couldn't work for Hobby Lobby, so... Uh, but yes, I feel you. They would, I mean, like everything. I'd buy candy melts and fabric and yarn and like all my money would just go right back to them. I'd use this as an excuse to start like seven new hobbies like soap making and resin. So Hobby Lobby as like a, a place to shop isn't bad, but like um uh, they're one at like I don't know. I guess it's like where you draw the line. Like they are not great to their employees. Like as a corporation they're not. Uh, there was a whole thing like during COVID where they said God spoke to his wife and then they informed everybody like the next day that they didn't have a job anymore because they should keep the money. They needed the money for themselves more than they needed to pay their employees. There was a whole thing. And then they on their like as a full time employee, you get benefits right but along their benefits they refuse to play for birth control so that being said i still eat a chick-fil-a so 
you draw your own line. I'm not trying to influence anybody one way or the other. Y'all make your own line. You know what I mean? Like, everybody draws their own line in the sand about whatever at a certain spot. And I am not, like, trying to influence anybody about whether you shop there or not. Because, frankly, sometimes you shop where you can afford to shop. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, if they have a coupon and an item that it's already on sale and you can use the coupon and it makes it affordable to you, be my guest. You know, so I don't, I don't, like, it's not like I'm going to be like, oh my god, I can't talk to you because you don't feel exactly the same way I do. No, you do what you got to do. I don't, okay, I love to shop at Amazon, but I do not participate in a lot of their, like, I don't do, uh, like, their, their reading thing, the uh, Kindle Unlimited, because, um, of how authors are treated on the backside of that. But, if you like to read, and 10 bucks a month means you can read way more than you could if you had to buy the book, then you do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna, like, again, be like, oh, I can't talk to you. I don't know about Michaels. I had a friend who worked at Michaels, and she didn't say anything bad about them. I know their diamond dot art stuff is way more expensive. So you may not want to purchase that thing. Just competitive, you know, comparatively, like me shopping them for them places, I found that they were more expensive there. Of course, that's been a while. Their prices could have come down on them. I don't know. But, like, as far as a, a place to work or be employed by, I don't know. She didn't have any real qualms, you know, that were different than, like, you know, stuff you might complain about no matter where you worked. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it came with my Dell, like, ten years ago. And it still works, so I just keep using it. <laughs> when it dies, I'll get a new one. But thank you. It's, it's seriously like nothing fancy. Like 10 years ago, I bought like a Dell tower and stuff because I only needed it to basically be able to surf the internet and open Word on, you know, like a Word document. I didn't need anything special. And it came with like a keyboard, a, mon a monitor, and a mouse. And this is still the keyboard and mouse that came with it all that all that time ago. The, of course, upgraded the monitor, and I still really only use that one for, for basically, for documents and surfing the web. But yeah, it's still the uh, the keyboard that came with it. But yes, I do. You can kind of see in the background. Uh, I normally do Lego. But this was a redeem. I have it as a reviewer redeem that you can spend points and then for a whole stream all we'll do is diamond dots. And so that was redeemed last week. And so we're doing it this today. I almost said this week, but I guess either way works. I like more than the one I use now, but it brought, uh, yeah. I think it vibrated some connection loose and I only have the key. Oh, that's sad. I hate when you like find, whether it be a, a keyboard, a mouse, or whatever it is. You know what I mean? That you just really like. Like Sometimes, like, I have tiny childlike hands. So a lot of times I use like the travel mouse. You know, the, the kind where you just plug it into the USB and it's like the little tiny mice because it fits my hand better than some of like the regular mice. Yeah, but not great. Um, I want to get, like, on my wish list is uh, one of those um, keyboards that looks like a typewriter. I really want one of those. I went somewhere. Where was it, though? Right there. A uh, Rose Raid is loose in chat. 
I'm pretty sure I pronounce like 95% of these Pokemon incorrectly. But I'm rolling with it. the external keyboard on my laptop now as out of convenience but at one time it was necessary on my old Lenovo yeah I like uh my my laptop my husband refers to it as a beast I don't know why but he does and I guess it kind of is it has like all kinds of like ports and stuff but again it is like 10 years old <laughs> but it keeps trucking so I keep using it Recently, we up like we put a new battery in it, and uh, I think changed some RAM or something like that. But I am all for keep using what works. I hate when things break and I need to buy a new one because it's almost never going to be like what I'm used to, and then I hate like the whole process of getting used to the new thing. Like, just when you start to like it, and then you're like, oh, now it broke. My, uh, enter key on my laptop was being funky. I don't know if something got underneath of it, and it wasn't allowing it to, like, click fully. Yeah, I, I hate new things. I don't like getting used to new things. And new things are weird because either you love them right off the bat or you're like, oh, I don't like this. And then by the time you're finally comfortable with it, it breaks and then you need to do a whole new thing. I find that that's how it is for me anyway. I either love it right off the bat or like I hate it until just about the time it breaks. Welcome in, Alex. How are you doing today? Are you, you're child free this week, aren't you? I love when I trap all the bugs in like the bottleneck. If you can get position just right, then it's super easy to beat the level. Mine's a Dell, but like I said, it's like. 10 years old and I use it I don't really I don't really play games on it and stuff again it's just usually I do a lot of my blogging stuff on it that way when we go places I can take it with and still do it so I just it's a lot of copy pasta I'm surprised the control alt do good note peas on school holidays for the week. I thought you said he was going to go with your sister, though. Welcome in, Devin. I could have gotten my time frames most wrong, though. Mostly internet. Yeah, like, it's mostly internet browsing and then, like, Word document copy pasta. Amaze Spidey. Mm. We'll give Trell one. Back to map. Ooh, what did I get? Ten paladin and ten food. Okay, that's what I was like. Maybe I got my my thingies wrong. That's happened before. Get my time frames all wonky. Maybe 
maybe not. Will be so divisive. The Linux on it, so viruses are a little less of a concern. There's still Windows. Uh, yeah. We've been on a trip yesterday and today got home a few hours ago. Ooh, I hope your trip was fun. Our camping was a little too exciting. Bought it used without a hard drive. Oh! That's interesting. I... Honestly, I don't know. I, it's been... Uh... A while? Since I bought a laptop and like our desktops, my hubby builds. So I have no clue. Uh, well, we got there Friday, and then uh, my sister in law kept putting off dinner because she was on her way. She was on her way. And then finally, never mind, I haven't left yet. You guys can go to dinner without me. Most unreliable person ever. Uh, but. Saturday, we got up, we slept in a little bit, Boy Wonder went outside, down to Nana's camper, and then Fantasy was going to go out, and I was like, are you going to leave the cat here? You take it with, you know, what's your plan? I always ask her, them both a million questions. Not because I'm, like, trying to insinuate what they're doing is wrong, but I want them to, like, think about what they're doing. Have a plan. Not just, like, go out there and be like, oh, no, and then have to turn around and come back in, you know? And so she's like, no, I'm going to take her. And so she put her, she had her little harness on and her leash, the kitty, and she took her outside. And I guess she went down to Nana's with Boy Wonder, and she gave Nana Noodle to hold. And as Noodle does, she climbed up. Up Nana's shoulder and jumped off the back, except she's used to landing on regular smooth floors. Well, outside is not smooth, you know, it's dirt, it's rocks, and she landed and she broke her leg. So the kitty has a cast on. She didn't break it all the way through, she just fractured the big bone in her leg. And the small bone is not broken at all. And there's a fracture in the large bone. So, for the next three to four weeks, once a week, we have to take her in and they have to change, like, the little cast bandage thing. If it gets wet at all, we have to take them, take her in right away. If it slips too much, we have to take her in. Yeah. So, she's got the cone of shame. And she's on, like, today was the last day for the second painkiller. But she takes uh, liquid medicine twice a day to help with the pain. Yeah, she was outside not even, like, ten minutes. She was trying to set up the chair, so Nana said, yeah, sure, and she climbed up her. But I'm going to tell you, that cat acts like there's nothing wrong with her. Like, she's still running around trying to climb up on things. I'm sorry that Joe's having problems with his ears again. I did buy a Toshiba laptop, new ones, had a few issues with it, starting with the screen, the hard drive, I think is dying, also I haven't used it for a while, I plan on just buying a drive for it, but things change, so just, yeah, like, I think she's just so inquisitive, she was like, yeah, this is no problem, I jump off stuff all the time at home, but, she, you know, the outside is not smooth and flat, it's, you know, but she, she still acts like nothing happened. She's like, yep, I'm just gonna... I mean, like, the first 24 hours were bad. She was... It hurt, and she was shaking from how much it hurt and things like that. But by, like, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, she was like, okay. Just right back at it. We got home, and she's just all over the place. And you're like, okay, no trying to like confine her to one area and she's like no thank you I'm just gonna do what I want yeah they said the fact that she's young will help uh too because just like human children they heal faster so they said probably the third week they'll take another x-ray to see how it's healing 
and then, you know, go from there. How do the diamond dot things work? So, um, I bought these things. They're like little Tic Tac cases and they come with these little numbers. And I just write the number on it because I'm OCD and crazy. And I keep my beats for, I don't know what reason, but I keep telling myself I'll do something with them. But they have like, uh, let me set this down. Me? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need them one day. So they have like the numbers, like the symbol, whatever it is, a one, two, three, seven percent, whatever. And next to it, they have like what color number it is. And each bag has like the number of like which color number it is and what the the color. That, that's not how I wanted that to sound. Like. The number it is in row, like that's color number 27, but the, um, and then it has like, cause these little numbers down here at the bottom, you could go to Joann's and they have like a rack of like all the different colors and you could find color number 8256 and buy another jar of it if you wanted. So that's what this little number at the bottom is. And that's like what number, cause this one has 38 colors in it that makes sense. I don't know. Half the time I'm talking, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure that makes sense to anybody outside of my own head. But I keep them and I have like little Tic Tac cases. And then because I do a lot of just this brand, I keep them. Um, and then I don't open the bags. I go through and I dig out all the ones with the numbers and then I just, you know, have them. Then I refill them with the bags. Yeah, same as like a paint by no number, color by number. It's just with these little kind of tiny dots. And then you stick the little gemstones on the right symbol. Uh, some of them have like a shiny kind of to them where they kind of almost look glittery. And some are kind of matte colored. Um, there, there are like... Uh, books you can buy just kind of like crochet or whatever you can buy them and you can buy just the fabric and then put your own glue and make your own design on them and that's what I keep telling myself I'm going to do it's a lie I probably will never do it but that's what I keep telling myself as to why I can't just throw them away I have to keep them you know But I like these little Tic Tac containers. I mean, you could get them even if you don't plan on keeping the beads. You could get it and use them while you're doing the project and then dump all the beads out at the end and throw them away. It's much easier to dump them back into these little Tic Tac containers than it is into the little bags they come in. Plus, if this knocks over, there's a greater chance that it won't just spill them everywhere. Chance being the key word. So let's see if there are any numbers. And they're like all different size. And Amazon sells a lot. I, I say they're off brand. And I don't mean that like in a bad way. Like, oh my god, they're off brand. I could never. No, it's just like they don't have a brand name. So I don't know if you could like save the beads the same way. Like the next time the kit came, you had two that looked like this, you know, they were the same color, but the color number may not be the same. So I don't know if you could save the beads there the same way. Um, but some of them are nice and just like anything else you get off Amazon. Sometimes you're like, oh, that's not the quality I thought it would be. And other ones are like, wow, this is fantastic. It's like anything else, though. Welcome in, Radiant Moon. How are you doing? Okay, I don't see any more number nines, but knowing me, I will have missed some somewhere. Like, usually when I start out, I'll do like 10 rows at a time, and I'll just do every color within that 10 rows and then go up and up. But I've got to the point where I'm like, oh, some of these colors, like, there aren't any of them anymore, like, in the picture. So I just, uh, I started just, I'll do all the number ones left and all the number twos left and, you know, 
going forward. But I am kind of like refilling my my containers as I go. And like, you know, making a mess with it every time. Let me cover my thing up so I don't accidentally stick anything to it. I'm good. How are you, Radiant Moon? Okay. Last time we did those. Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, I got these, these off Amazon. They were cheap. They were like six bucks. They are not Disney ears by any means, but they're cute and I like them. Like, you know, Disney quality ears, I should say. But I like Jeff Skeleton. Yes, I love Jeff Skeleton. That was our brick decks. Okay, X is the next symbol to look for. Yeah, I think I got these last... I don't know, last time they had Prime Days. Or something like that. Um, or maybe it was... Uh, like Black Friday type deals. Either way, I bought them on the deal of the day or whatever. And they were super cheap. And I thought they were cute. And sometimes, like, the way the headbands are, they, like, pinch. But these aren't. These are nice headbands. They don't pinch or push in. So, I'm sticking with it. Yeah, um, there's another company that Joanne started selling the Diamond Dots. I'll have to look it up. Um, but they're pretty good, too. They now make ones that have square, I guess they call them drills, that's what they call them. Uh, I don't know what that is, Radiant Moon. Um... But it, uh, they do square instead of circle. Oh, you beat Brock with one Pokemon. Fantastic! I haven't played any, like, real Pokemon. I just do this catching in the, uh, <laughs> in the chat. That's about the only Pokemon thing I've done in a long time. But, um... I can't remember the name of the company. Um, but they sell them at, at Joann's as well. And they're pretty nice. But they do... This company and that company sometimes will do square instead of these circles like this is. Um, they're squares. And at first I was like, oh, they'll be better because there'll be no space in between. It was not better. At some point during your project, no matter how close you're pushing them all together, there's becomes like a, a gap for some reason. And that irritates the crap out of me. Also, these you just pick up any old direction, right? And slap them on. With the squares, you have to be very precise about how you set them down because it's square. So I didn't, I was not crazy about 
the ones I've done. I think I've done two or three, you know, just to give it a fair shot. Maybe it was just the first one, but uh, I'm not crazy about them. But that's not to say somebody else wouldn't like them, obviously, because they sell enough of them. And they keep making more designs in the square drills. So somebody must like them. My, I didn't like them. And I even tried, like, at the end, smooshing, you know. Like, you can use the little thing to, like, push them. Um, and it did not make it any better, so I did not. Kitty keeps trying to climb up the back of the couch. And the problem isn't so much up, it's the down. See, and that's why I do things. <laughs> that's why I use these containers. Because I am accident prone. I am not good with computers. I could not tell you how to fix that. I am of no use. sitting comfortably in the bios. That's a good place to be as long as you don't click anything that could mess anything up. I know that much.
my hubs to help you, but he forgot to take his headphones to work today, so he is without sound. So, I mean, he can read the, uh, the chat, but that's about it. But I guess he could still maybe help. It's been giving me a USB over current error semi. And there's no like USB thing plugged in? Or like is it saying there's something wrong with your USB? Like the port? Like I said, I don't know. I have no clue. No, it didn't do it this time. I pressed the power on. Hmm. I got into the BIOS. Seems promising. Yeah, that's a smidgen warm. Maybe your your fan's not working? I had that happen with the laptop once. We had a wound up having to replace the fan. It would get super hot. It is weird. Something is overheating, running hotter than it should be. That means something's like running hotter than it, it should be if it's still that warm and the fans are working. Something is is running hotter than it should usually. 
causing the, the, the temp to go up. Less than 30 seconds on Stream Raiders. Seven of us and sit fifty one of them. Woohoo! These frogs are so weird.
we're gonna get stuff us. No goodies. Ooh, a gold chest. chat is pretty active on stream. Yeah. Uh, here, and I think just randomly people find you through, like, the search thing on Stream Raiders, and so they join in, too. But, uh, a fair amount of people here in chat play. Beer Bearer asked if I would add some redeems, like, you know, 50 coin, whatever, scrolls. And I said I would, and I will. I just keep not making the redeems. I thought it would be easy. I went to put them on one day, like, quick before I started a stream. Because I thought it would be really easy to find, like, the uh, little clip art for them. But surprisingly, it was not. So I keep... I am gonna have to, like, sit down and actually do it. Like, find little clip art for the, the picture and, uh, and make the redeem. Nothing too, like, crazy or anything like that. Just, like, a redeem for... If you want the the coins, if they're an option, you know, during the uh, prize phase or stream or uh, scroll, I don't know why I said stream. If you want this some kind of scroll, if it's available, you know. I just thought it would be super easy to find like the clip art, and it was not. Not as easy as I thought. Maybe that's what I'll do after stream. Like sit down and just do it. Because I keep telling myself, oh, I'll do it on this day. And then I don't. I was frustrated because I actually did go in to my panels and add a panel that said like um, like if you redeem this amount of biddies this will happen and then when I closed it it wasn't there anymore so I don't know what happened if I forgot to press a save button or something but it was irritating because I actually did what I was meant to do and then it didn't work. Anyway. Yeah, I get a fair amount um, of emails Dude. for them because they're in the channel. Because I have it on the channel. Not to the point where it's like, oh my god, another one. But I do get a fair amount. Yeah, I know. It was rude. I went through all the work and did the thingy things, and it didn't work anymore. So, I'll have to try it again.
them in, Kevin. Still poking holes in the ground? Or did we move on to another fun activity? I think that's what you said you were doing earlier. Anything fun over the weekend, Kevin? I'm told that we need to replace a culvert. Oh, fun times. Lots of digging. But I guess it's finally starting to warm up there. So you got, and you have a very limited time to do certain things. I know that's how it was when we lived up there in North Dakota. Like, they take road work, like, super seriously. Because they have such a small window in where they can do things like that. That if they say they're going to fix this road, like, it's done. Busy in a different way. That's all right. Yeah, so I imagine it's similar there. Like, you have a limited window for, for when you can do certain things. So, they're like, let's get on it. No messing about. Yeah. Yeah, winter and road construction. That, that's pretty much how it was up there in North Dakota, too. Like, they would have to come in and fix, like, so many things because, you know, concrete... This whole game is great. I did not see that it snowed, but I am not surprised. When we... Before we moved there, you know, you look up all... I don't know. Like, because military, you move a lot. So... You get into a habit. Oh, I'm going to this place. You start looking up, like, what's around there, what things there are to do, what the weather's like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, one of the things we looked up was, like, about snow. And we found out that the only month it has not snowed ever in North Dakota is July. Every other month has seen snow. I'm not talking, like, stays on the ground for a week or anything. But it has snowed in every month, but July. Did rain again? We had rain, and the part of Arkansas that butts up right against Missouri had tornadoes, so that was fun. An own has been caught by Kevin and Alex. In every month here, yeah. 
I was like, it's only a matter of time before they see it in July, too. Yep, ads. Lovely. You know, at least we didn't get hit by one, that's all I'm saying. Not that I wish other people would, but poof, it wasn't me. But also, it's like a little bit like complaining about flooding in Louisiana. It's hard to complain too much. Uh, because you chose to live there. Like, I feel bad for you, but... And just about everywhere has some kind of horrible weather. Like, some are worse than others, yes, but like everywhere. I mean, like, Florida, Louisiana, whatever, has, um, like hurricanes. And then you have Arkansas, the mid a, a fair amount of the Midwest has tornadoes, California has mudslides and earthquakes and, you know, too far to the north you get, like, snow and blizzards upon blizzards, you know, so, like, everywhere has, has something. You just, uh, after you live there for a while, you learn how to prepare. Tomatoes, not tornadoes. <laughs> you have tomatoes there? No way. Tomatoes in Canada? <laughs> the last time I had used TPS voice because of the way the name of the site was said. It was for Bitcoin posts. Oh, what sh Yeah, they're like, we can't have people. We can't pay people. We'll just use AI. So there's this content creator guy that Crazy likes. He'll do, like, uh, stuff and he'll talk about, like, Russia. And, like, what are you doing now, Russia? And it, it talks about a lot of kind of military type stuff. And he calls, like, <laughs> well, that's a lot. Dead nine tornadoes on the ground at the same time. Yeah. Too many for me. Um. And he said, like, they did one skit, and the guy was like, Can, uh, Alaska's there to protect Canada from Russia. And... The guy who's supposed to be America chimes in and goes, Maybe it's habitual line foster. I'm not sure. Yeah. And he's like, No. 
Canada's there, or um, Alaska's there to protect Russia from Canada because it's not a war crime the first time. And that has become like a quote around our house like it's not a war crime the first time. Which tells you the personality of everybody who lives in this house. It's not illegal the first time. And he talks about like how many how many things of the Geneva Convention he can tick off and or the you know the guy the Canada's personality, whatever in the skits. And they're like, it's not a checklist. And he's like, yeah, yeah. How many more things can I pick off? <laughs> yeah, that Alaska's the buffer between the two. But his videos are really funny. Yeah, the Geneva Suggestions. It's just like a mouse talking in like a map picture of the United States and then one for Canada and then like Belarus and, and all these kind of different countries. It's just like eyes and a mouse talking in the middle of it. It's supposed to be the country. But his videos are pretty funny. His little skits. Yeah, or the mouth and eyes, yeah, over the planes, or the tanks, or whatever, yeah, that guy. You're welcome, Alex, have a good sleep. Or stream, or whatever it is that you're about to attempt to do. But I'm sure you're tired after being away the past couple days. Yeah, that guy's funny. Oh, I did it now. Sorry, I'm off to bed. Joe had me up at 4.30 in the morning. Finally letting me go to sleep at 11.30. Yes, sleep is a must. Yeah, every time Crazy tells me, like, about, like, some kind of video that he's seen from him, and it involves Canada, all I can think, always think is, it really is the quiet ones you have to watch out for. Apparently that includes countries.
Don't mess with the syrup. We usually have like three kinds of syrup in this house. I usually always have maple syrup, then strawberry flavored syrup, and blueberry flavored syrup. I almost planned to have breakfast for dinner today. Oh, but then I got out sausage instead. We made kebabs while we were camping. And I always make rice with my, our kebabs, you know, as like something to eat on the side. And uh, I took my rice cooker, because I'm lazy. Um, and as we were getting stuff, you know, kind of near the door ready to go out to the camper. Mmm. Oh, waffles. I love waffles. Um, I had the, the, the rice cooker there, and Fancy was, Fantasy was like, is that your rice cooker? And I was like, yes. And I was like, I'm making kebabs, and I always make rice to go with the kebabs. She was like, yeah, but you're gonna take the rice cooker camping? And I was like, uh, yes. You underestimate my, uh, will to be lazy slash make things easier for myself. Yeah, don't touch their boats. They're really finicky about that. Yeah, there's, he does a skit about that, like, the Americans don't touch their boats, they're really, they really don't like that. Okay, let's see if I can do this without sticking the book in the sticky part. Okay, have, oh, oh. Hopefully you have a good day at a uh, good rest of the day at work. Well, that sucks for you because you're currently at work. Working and lurking. 
and I'm allergic to, I'm getting around. Yeah, who isn't allergic to water? So we did this little, little bit there. But I mean, really, everybody's allergic to it. I love the little, like, Veronica cartoon-like things where they're like, Yes, Veronica, I'm gonna need you to train this new employee. <laughs> Anal glaucoma can't see your ass coming to work. Um, but it's... It's, um, yeah, they're like, Veronica, we're going to need you to train this new employee. And she's like, oh, okay. So where do I, what form do I fill out for that? And they're like, I'm sorry, Veronica, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, they're like, she's like, well, if I'm going, if I'm going to train this new employee, I know I'm going to still be expected to do my work in the same amount of hours, plus train this person, and da 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 She's like, so I'm going to need compensation. And they're like, um, Veronica, we don't, we don't do that. We just need you to be a team player and train this new person. And she's like, um, I'm going to have to pass. I don't work for free. The one I saw earlier today with the, like, Veronica, we called you in because we're going to have to write you up. And she's like, oh, you are? How so? And they're like, well, you filed some stuff, but you work from the bottom of the list to the top. And that's just, uh, that's not how we do it here. So we're going to have to write you up. And she's like, oh, really? You're going to write me up? That's how she told me to do it. So, like, you know... Her boss's boss. She's like saying that her boss told her to do from the bottom up, and her boss is like, "Uh, Veronica, that's just that's just a lie and blatantly not true. I would never tell you to do it that way." And she's like, "Oh, really? Is that the story you're sticking with? Because I recorded it." And she's like, "What? No, you didn't. I didn't say you could do that. You can't record me. That's illegal." And she's like, "I did because you have a habit of telling people how to do things." So that then it gets them in trouble and makes you look better like like you're doing something special. So here, and she turns the computer around and she plays the file of her boss telling her, Um, I know Cindy tells you to do it from the top to the bottom, but um, I don't see why it matters. Just just do it from the bottom to the top. And then her, her boss's boss is like, um, never mind, Veronica, you're not getting written up. Have a good day. And she's like, I'm going home. And the girl, her boss is like, no, you can't leave for the day. And she's like, um, with the shit you just pulled, you're lucky I'm just going home for the day and not reporting you to HR. <laughs> but it's all kinds of videos like that where, like, the boss or somebody's trying to, like, screw you over in person. And she's always like, um, no, I don't work for free. just gonna need you to be a team player, Veronica? <laughs> okay. This is our last stream raiders for the day. Good luck. And 
then the next one down in chat is Fuzi. I mean, not in chat, in uh, in the standing thingy. I can I can take off something that's loaded. My tank gun. I'm gonna finish this color and then we'll find somebody to raid into. I have not used the new raid thing and I'm not even sure I know how to. Like, like where it is. I wonder if it's on. Oh, I bet it is. I hardly ever use that, so... We'll, we'll try it out in a little bit when we're ready. Just to try to find it. I know I used to, when I would stream on Sundays and have my tablet to see the chat, because I only had one monitor, I know the raid thing wasn't that great. Like, sometimes it would show you people who weren't even on anymore. But supposedly, they made some changes and it's like a new thing. So, we will check it out. Maybe I could just like break it off, but I don't think so. Carrot, are you still here? How did the, uh, did you figure out what you were going to do with those other beads that had the weird stuff on them? They had, like, a coating on them. And they didn't want to stick to, like, the, uh, wax. beads like stick together but they come apart pretty easily Well, crazy what, you only, you don't even have a full day tomorrow, and then you have off to make up for having to work Sunday, right? Well, overnight Sunday.
that keeps the uh, bag like the number order. Sometimes it works. Okay, let's see the new raid thing and how that works. I guess it is slightly different than before. I've never used it on the computer though. I've only ever used it like on, uh, like I said, on my tablet. Usually I just look to see who's live, like on my, my little side, people I like. Lumberjack Josh, he does Lego too, and he's working, starting to work on the Orient Express. So. Oh, I like this. Then I don't have to type anything in and mess it up. Thank you for staying around all red. Um, I will stream again on, on Thursday from about the same time noon to four. And then I stream from 12 to five on, on uh, Sundays and I play video games on Sundays. Uh, thank you for everybody who hung around. Thank you, Yeti, for the raid. Thank you for all and uh, all red for the new follow. But I, I I usually stream during the day, so I know that doesn't work for everybody. Yes, today was a very kind of calm, chill stream. We didn't do anything kind of crazy today. Thursday, we will be back to building. Thank you.